says we're live. All right. And Twitch, what do you say? Tell me, Twitch, am I live? Tell me, Twitch, am I live? Tell me. I am. Uh, game volume is a little low. Let's adjust that real quick. There we go. All right. Hello, everybody. It's Little Rack Dragon here, and technically, it is 1600 PST. However, it's probably not going to let me do it just just yet. Might have to go out and back in a couple times. Maybe even return to title or something. There we go. Data updated. Now's where things will get foey. Because I can imagine that um, I am one of a great many people who are trying to get into the servers at this current moment. So yeah, FGO, it's the faux running stream, running, 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 until we can get in. Yep, everybody's trying to get in at once. But I mean, hey, there's reason. Salem's finale is here, and that's going to be awesome. I am very much anticipating this. The story has been really good so far, and I mean really good. Been appropriately dark. Are we already in? We're already in! Okay! We got in stupidly fast. We got in within a minute or less. Um, really quickly, I want to just see, because people were speculating. Okay, they did not do a stealth drop of the Abbey Banner. They did not. But I do want to check to see if they've announced the Abbey Banner really quick. Um, it does not look like they have announced the Abigail Banner just yet, but we are in and that is what matters. Let us begin the Sixth Knot, Section 7 of Salem. Enemy class unknown. Mm, just like XCOM. But, um... Let us just go... We're just gonna... I think we should just stick with Melt, actually. Melt's pretty good. Um, if I remember correctly, the Demon God Pillars, they were pretty much weak. Because that's what the question mark class generally is. It's the Demon God Pillars. That or a lot of different classes. I think if it's more than five classes, it also shows that. But Melt is good for half of them at least uh the only thing she falters against is the night class which you know if there is a night class i don't really have a good saber to deal with lancers i don't have a good single target archer to deal with archers i got some good lancers though but um enough screwing around let us start section seven sixth knot Whew, just like death stranding all the knots the next morning, Salem, day seven. Man, I didn't think it was gonna be this dark out. Might as well still be nighttime. I guess it's got something to do with the weird time zone since. Ah! And nothing quite takes your mind off things like an ear-shattering scream in the morning. I don't even want to know what this is about. The, the the well outside, it's all full of tar. And the milk's gone so rotten, it looks like cottage cheese. Now, how am I going to make our morning porridge? How could the start of our day possibly get any worse? That is your con that is your concern? But it'd kill you to grill some pork chops. Occasionally. I'm so tired of porridge. And it's not just any po porridge. It's my special Kikon porridge. And I'll have you know, Kikon porridge is made with... Uh, um, Medea, what are you doing here? What are you shouting about so early in the morning, Auntie? Oh, Medea, haven't seen you in. Wait, what? Swear to Hectate that you'll never call me Auntie again! You hear me, Medea? Wait, you can't be Medea. 
Okay, who are you? <laughs> ah, Matahari. Just a little illusion disguise me. The Queen of Sheba let me some of her power. I might be good at makeup, but disguises are another thing altogether. At any rate, the music just stopped. The whole village is in total chaos. It's not just the well water. There's also swarms of insects, birds, and of course, this pitch black sky. At this point, if the dead got up and started wandering around, I don't think I'd even bat an eye. Don't jinx it, please. Uh, Abby, you still have a bad fever. Please try to stay in bed. You've been sweating in the night. Here, let me dry you off. Oh, Mesh, you're exaggerating. I feel great now. All I needed was a good night's rest. I have to thank you, Mr. Ringmaster, again for all your help. I'm sorry, but I really do have to ask you to stay in bed. I know it's very dark outside right now, but it's still morning. My fever has only gone down a little. I'll bring you some breakfast in bed, so please get some more rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do as you say, Mash. Thank you. Mash, could I ask you for a favor? What is it? Do you think you could find Lavinia for me? She must be scared. Out in the woods, all by herself. Nowhere to go. Okay. And please, don't punish her. Just make sure she gets on her boat. Okay. I'll hold you to that. <sighs> she fell asleep really quick. Like, really quick. Hmm. Town Hall Provisional Court. Defendant, Charles Henry Sanson. You know, that would mess with so many historians' minds if they have looked on the records and saw Mata Hari and Charles Henry Sanson were both in Salem, Massachusetts, tried for witchcraft, and then executed. I can just imagine how many people's minds that would blow. Can I talk to you for a moment, Sol? Mm, yes, and that's Met Met Medea's Matahari. All right, that's Matahari disguised as Medea. I managed to speak to Sanson alone earlier. I tried to give him some of my medicine, just in case. But he refused to accept it. Why would he refuse to accept it? Right, the same stuff I made for Matahari. I admit it's tricky to use. I mean, it really does kill you, at least for a while. Still, he might end up needing it depending on how this trial goes. But he refused to even entertain the possibility. Does he have some kind of plan of his own? What point could there possibly be in sacrificing himself? Just what is that dummy thinking? Yeah, gotta save him in the court of law. I've never played an Ace Attorney game, but I'm sure I can do fine. I just don't get it. Why did he go out of his way to choose the more dangerous option? Why do men always have to do stuff like this? Order! This court is now in session, but before we begin, I would like a moment of silence for the late Judge Hopkins, who devoted the last of his days hunting down the witches plaguing all fair down. Reverend, would you mind saying a few words of prayer? Oh, we're actually not getting the prayer. And that concludes the testimony of our brave constables who were on the scene. Lavinia Waitley, Judge Hopkins' murder is still on the loose. Soldiers from the militia are searching for her as we speak, but having no luck in this poor weather. Now, where is Abigail Williams, the other person of interest in these events? As her legal guardian, do you have anything to say on her behalf, Mr. Carter? Abigail is currently recuperating from physical and mental exhaustion. I will be defending her. Very well. Now then, Charles Henry Sanson. You volunteered to serve as Judge Hopkins' bodyguard. However, you have completely failed in your charge of keeping him safe. And perhaps even more seriously, you assisted Lavinia in making her escape from the scene. According to the constable's testimony, you are acting virtually as a lunatic. Do you admit to the truth of these allegations? I do. It's all true. Hmm. Then it's clear you are conspiring to murder his honor all along. What other explanation is there for this? OBJECTION! I know that's a classic case attorney line. I don't know what the next line is, though, so... Hmm. Hmm. The circumstances weren't really beyond his control. And we do need another testimony, I think. Yeah. She's the daughter of the Waitley family. 
She deserves every punishment she will receive. That family is nothing more than a pack of thieves. They're all dead, dude. Never once turned to mass. They're all sinners. They always went around flashing their ill-gotten gains, acting as if they were better than us. Lavinia is a witch. Witch. Order, order. Ring Master Soul. As the leader of your troop, I understand that you are here to defend Sanson's case. But you will watch your tongue in my court. Remember, this comes on the heels of the execution of one of your members, Matahari, who earned that sentence by attempting to lend our lead our people astray. One could certainly draw the conclusion that they were acting on your orders. The only reason you still walk free is the absence of both evidence and accusations made against you. He's going awfully far. Go on, I have evidence. These people have been my guests, or so I thought, and they have been very good to my niece. However, if that is simply the way they operate, I may have unwittingly invited demons into my own house. Oh, you son of a... Soul, you will hold your tongue! Go on, Mr. Carter. They are harboring a criminal in their own village. One who was meant to be dead, no less. They are hiding Tatuba out in the woods, even after she was supposed to have been executed. It seems that Sansa's guild is no longer in question. Take him to the hill. What? This is absurd. This is completely absurd. Stop this, Uncle! Abby. I'm sorry, Master. I tried to stop her, but she begged to let her go. Abigail, this decision has already been made. This can't be right. Sansa isn't a sinner. Can you all see that for yourselves? He's only ever tried to do the right thing! Are you sure about that? Sanson himself feels tremendous guilt over his sins and is trying to atone for them. You will be punished according to the law we God-fearing people of Salem sent down to protect our town. We are passing judgment on our fellow man, isn't that how it should be? Or are you saying your own conscience knows better than God himself? <sighs> it's not fair! Why won't you understand? Uncle... Is this what you wanted to happen all along? Did you invite the troop to stay with us, just so you could expose their sins? Is there anyone in this world who has never sinned? Is there any child of Eve unmarked by the serpent's deception? This is becoming irritating. As you can see, my niece is severely exhausted. She's in no state to contribute to a rational discourse. My apologies, Your Honor. Please don't let her interrupt the proceedings any further. Very well. Now then, Ringmaster Soul! As your complicity in these crimes has been exposed, you two must be made to account for them. Normally I would have you taken into custody immediately, however you and your troop are also the family of the co condemned. As such, you, should you wish to attend his execution, I will grant that request. What say you? Sure. Your request is granted, but be warned any attempt to interfere will be dealt with harshly. And stop glaring at me like that, I will change nothing. Constables, keep a close eye on them. Hey, hands off. Stop trying to resist. Hold on, Abby. Do not lose sight of yourself. Stop this. Please, stop this. This is wrong. Everyone is making a terrible mistake. Uh-oh. Charles and Resenson, if you would like to offer any prayers to God, I will hear them now. I finished my prayers to God a long ago. Those prayers are for the those I executed myself. And let God hear what you have to say. Master, you can't possibly be okay with this, can you? We don't have any tricks for your sleeve this time. Since he's incarnate, Sensen's really gonna die. This will end your contract with him. You know, he'll forget everything that happened to him after he was summoned to Caldea. You're not seriously gonna let that happen, right? If you're gonna stop it now, if you're gonna stop it, then it's now or never. It's a tiny rural village. Hardly really anyone to story about here. What are you waiting for? You can do this, can't you? So go on. Do it before he's gone for good. Senpai. Sansen. Uh, uh. I've taken many lives. Lives of criminals, traitors, and heretics. Condemned men. Every one of them. They deserve their deaths. Their sentence was more than enough to rob them of any hope they had. What greater despair could be there be than the absence of hope? But I continued to torture them far more than necessary. I humiliated them before crowds, and inflicted pain and suffering on them far worse than death. This may be my only chance to atone for what I've done. Senpai? Senpai! I've already put a noose around Sansa's neck! Now or never. 
Charles Henry sets, and by the power of my command spell. Robin! Don't do it. Stay out of this, master. Let me go, Robin. You're already on thin ice. Let Frenchie do this his way. He's an acting of inspiration. He's up there to help Caldea with our mission. He thought long and hard and decided this was the only choice he had. If you trust him at all, master, you can't try to stop him. But if he was going to do this, why didn't he tell master about it? Because if he did, master would stop him. And if he had, mash. It might just be you up there on the gallows now. Or even master himself. There'd be no coming back from that. <sighs> yeah, sac self sacrifice is not good. So you're just barely hanging on by a thread yourself. Don't go making any reckless moves. If you're gonna do this, then give me my more. And if you can't. <sighs> Sanson. Oh. Again, they with the chills. Tolls. Charles? Damn it. Well, are you happy now, you goddamn hicks? How many people do you miserable shits need to watch die before you're finally satisfied? Or is it your lives are so freaking awful you'd rather stick around watching good people suffer every damn day? What a foul mouth, vile little man. Pay him no heed, more importantly. Yes, your honor, I'll take soldier prison right now. Good, I've let set soldiers on the roads, but there's no telling what you might try. Be on your guard. Mm. I see. If only, if only I was a witch, a witch who had turned her back on the world of on the word of God. If I were the one, if I were the one true sin of this hollow Salem. An evil aura. Everyone, please listen to me. I, I have a confession to make. I would like to accuse myself. I'm a witch. I hid out in the woods and conducted evil rituals. I led my friends astray. Oh, Abigail, what are you saying? I'm a witch. I made sacrifices to summon a demon and chanted spells that blasphemed against God. Yeah, uh, Abby's a witch. A demon led us astray. She's a witch, a witch. A filthy witch. Did she just get pelted with rocks? Uh, ow, ow. Now because a witch, a witch! Stone the one defending her too, they're both demons! Neza, Neza, this is my punishment to bear. You don't have to endure this. These stones are a lot harder than the props in your place, right? So it's okay. This is not okay. I am not okay with this. Ah! All of you, listen! You would throw stones at your own neighbor. You would abandon your fellow believer. Then you, who wish for loneliness, take up a rock. You, who despise love, go ahead, cast your stones. For I am Prince Neza, Marshal of the Central Altar, and I will not be crushed by anything less than the great boulders of Five, Elemental Mount Five Elements Mountain. It's okay, Neza. These stones don't even bother me. not good. Abby? Look just like a spirit origin being released. Does this mean Abby was a servant all along? Could she be an anti-hero witch? Did he try to up creating an actual witch? How is this possible? It's not. Even all the crap he pulled, Hopkins was a much better fit for an anti-hero. Abby, her threat is rapidly growing. Get back, Sol. She's definitely a real witch. Though I can't say I care for how blatant she's being about it. Aha, uh -huh, now I see. So this is the stage that's been set for me. Isn't that right, Queen of Sheba? Whoa. Well then, if it's time to show up what I can really do. Come at me, you little punk. I'll give you your first lesson in witch real witchcraft. Uh, yeah. Don't hurt her, please. Okay. Uh, we're fighting Abigail, then.
Okay. This is gonna be fun. Fun, fun, fun under the sun, sun, sun. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Abigail, 300,000 is her break bar. Um, I would love to have more quick cards here so that I could actually generate some with melt, but sadly that's not to be. So this is one melt card, the next one... Hey, Red Velvet, welcome, welcome, welcome! Faithful prayer and sea strength up. Whoa! The little Teddy! No, not Teddy! How is Teddy evil? Why, Teddy, why? So welcome, Red Velvet. Welcome, welcome. How be things? How be things? I forgot to melt the virus. That's unfortunate. Also, these attack animations are awesome. Let me just say, awesomely, awesomely awesome. Okay, more crit stars. You're about to go in as well? Are you just listening to me then, or are you actually watching? Because obvious spoils are obvious here. And it starts off in 2 minutes. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that's all the buffs. Go, melt, go. Melt this. <laughs> ah, you didn't bring her there for that purpose. I would have guessed you might have. But I guess not. Why'd you bring her there then? Also, first break bar done. And that's the battle, apparently. Okay. Short first battle. 180,000 quartz is not bad. And by quartz, I mean QP, good lord. 180,000 quartz, I would probably faint. <sighs> witches are fighting each other. Run away before they curse you. Did you see those twisted smiles? It's like the witches of Sabbath come to life. Okay, things have de escalated. <sighs> Abby, Abby goes back to normal. Yep, we got her. We got her. We got her. Motherfuckers are gonna be more afraid than ever. Move aside. Don't dare resist. We're taking the witch into custody. You two wings, damned witch. I am not a witch. I am the queen witch. Thank you very much. Ah, you brought that as a rider. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. But it was a happy coincidence, you know. A very, very happy coincidence, right? Hey, don't you touch me! I can turn you into a dog, you know! Senpai, what are we gonna do now? Huh? No, stop! Please, don't take Senpai away! It's up to you now, Mash! It's up to you! Senpai! Okay, that's great that she... That was the trailing Senpai! <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me together this time, so... Didn't think I'd be doing time here again. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Cersei's a pretty cool servant, I must admit. Cersei is pretty cool, and I might... I'm kind of hoping she spooks me. I guess I should be grateful they didn't hang me on the spot. I'm really light, so hanging would be pretty long and painful death. I'm sorry, you just lost one of your friends. But hey, look on the bright side, soul. At least you got a beautiful girl here to keep you company. Oh. Yeah, I slipped. I hate this place. I've headed up to here with this jail and its slippery, slimy floors. Okay, I can... J 
Just saying right now, I can imagine Cersei trying to be all seductive and just walk up and then just whoop, slip and fall on her flat on her face. Uh, Cersei, Cersei, Cersei. I really thought that she didn't like men, though. I could have swore I heard that in Greek myth she did not like men in general, and that's why she turned them all into animals. Here, let me sit on your lap for a bit, soul. Um. Wait. Something's poking my leg. Cersei? Please tell me that's a dagger that I'm feeling poking my leg and not something else. Please. Hey, so, if you care about me at all, even just a little, what did you say we get out of here together? Hmm? No, I'm not talking about this jail. I can get out of here whenever I feel like. No problem. I mean, to the outside world, beyond Salem. I could never do that, Cersei. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, wait a minute. You wouldn't have to have a ridiculously high tolerance for poison, would you? She was trying to poison me. Oh, thank God. She wants a friend? I could be a friend, yes. Cersei is good friend material. I can agree with that. And as for poison resistance, well, I mean, the dagger that you thankfully poked me with, because thank God it was not something else that was poking my leg, um, it probably doesn't compare to a girl whose whole body is made of poison that may have fallen on top of me in Camelot. Yeah. That was awkward to explain to Mash, so, um, this whole you sitting on my lap, she can never know about Cersei. Or maybe a prosthetic leg. Mm. Uh, on second thought, never mind, just forget about it. Tickle. Tickle. Tickle her! Yes. Stop, I'm sorry, I'll never do it again! <laughs> Hang on. We have an unexpected visitor. Is that... Do them in the cell in the back. Don't worry, it's locked up tight. Oh, how kind of you. You shouldn't have. Okay, I'll let you have some privacy. If you need anything, just let me know. Thank you. Mr. Carter. Randolph Carter, or should I say... Demon God Pillar. When did you figure it out? Well, you know, it was when I had a vision of your head being replaced by that of a bird. I wasn't sure until you just told me that's a good that's a good line. That's an excellent line. That is excellent. Let's see, well that's alright. You're my guest, that much hasn't changed. As your host, the very least I can do is give you a warm welcome. In fact, I came here to thank you for pacifying my niece after she gave everyone such a fright. No problem. <laughs> Seemed a fitting show of gratitude after all I hear of your kid did for my niece. <laughs> Is that so strange? I'm far from the first demon god pillar to raise a human. And my own special trait comes from towns, after all. That's why it doesn't bother me to present myself as a human, or to wear clothes, or to live in a house. In fact, I find it rather comforting. Wow, a demon god pillar that is fine with being human. Now, if only we could get rid of that pesky, pesky evil nature of his. He could fit in with society rather well. You know, as long as he doesn't show his glowing red eyes, that is. <clears throat> that could tend to draw some attention. I suppose it would be fair to say that such things are precisely what led me to split from Goetia's consensus. They feared death too much to the point they became fixate and fixated on it. I'm not like Fornius or Hagenti. Nor do my values align with any of the other members of the five envoys. Namely, Bale, Zapar, Andras, and Fenix. Now then, is there anything else you'd like to discuss? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm kind of vulnerable now. I want you to understand my objective. Knowing that will help you make a more rational decision. More like it'll help you manipulate us better. Why not tell us this all from the start, huh? Because if I failed with that batch. But now, time is right for me to tell you the truth. Huh, like you tell us any truth that might not further your own goals. Don't listen to anything he says, so that's the best thing you can do here. Otherwise, you'll fall into the same trap as the Queen of Sheba, one of your own making. Hey, Shusaiku, welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Four streamer used to watch our streaming at the same time. Oh no! The conundrum! All four of them FGO streamers. Yeah, and 50,000 people's lives are sick here, so I gotta take what I get. I'm trying to save her. I can promise you that much from the bottom of my heart. What did you do? So, our Goetia's objective was to save mankind. That has been true ever since we were born. This is precisely why Salem and Abigail Williams were chosen. Salem is positioned at the border of sanity and madness. The wisdom of the modern day age and the darkness of the Middle Ages are so closely entwined here to become, as to become almost completely indistinguishable. There is no other place where the two extremes of humanity's nature are so clearly laid bare. Furthermore, Abigail is blessed with a rare talent. Talent, you mean her aptitude as a witch? Abigail is pure and innocent. She might be better suited as a medium than a witch. Lavendi had a talent for it as well, but Abigail was leaps and bounds beyond her. She was everything I could have hoped for and more. Thanks to her, I am certain to succeed. Yeah, she's a medium. Okay, so mediums channel the dead. Are you going to try and resurrect Goisha? Because he did die outside of time and space, after all. Which, I mean, is he really dead, though? Is he really dead? Don't get me wrong. I'm not making her do anything. She will do this because she chooses to. She will complete the great work we could not, the salvation of mankind. And she will do so through great pain. It is pain that is the basis of human happiness. Nothing in the world can be more valuable. Everyone feels pain in equal measure. Without it, well, you would all cease to be human. It is worth far more than love or death could ever hope to be. Abigail would bring it to be its harbinger. Um, hmm. Pain having a lot of worth. I mean, I suppose that is fair. I'm... It is worth more than death in some sense of the word, because if with death there is nothing more for you except for the afterlife. With pain, though, if you feel pain, then that means you can, um... With pain, you can actually, you know, experience more life, potentially. Because if you're in pain, that means you're still alive. So, I can see how it's more valuable than death. But love is pretty valuable, you know. Love is pretty valuable. It's a very philosophical discussion, I can tell. Come on, when the courthouse opens at dawn, she'll be tried as a witch. And all's going well. Many have tried to save Abigail before, but none have ever succeeded. Even if I wasn't up to that task, that is why I invited Caldea here again. I expect great things of you, Mr. Soul. Great things indeed. Yeah, I, I won't be able to how much if I'm hanging. <laughs> yep, you fell right for the trap. I ended up busting out some pretty flashing spells. Sorry about that. Hmm, wait, hang on a minute. What do you mean, that batch, Carter? Don't tell me you've been repeating the last several days trying to produce results. That's playing dirty, in multiple senses of the word. Have you no shame? So, he's been making a time loop. Loopy, loopy, loop. Nice to watch to rush Salem while watching the story of in a stream. Yeah, story is very important for me after all. So, looping time to recreate history. That's not a real big question. I mean, he's trying to he's looping time to create something proper. But how are we going to save Abby? You will take her away from here, anywhere that is not Salem. I have no interest in moving backward. I only want to move forward towards suffering. All I did was compress that process. I sped up the cycle of life and death. It's possible to do that with within the bounds of a town, especially after I secured a source of magical energy. I tested for optimal conditions, made some adjustments, and invited guests, which were an indispensable factor. So you've been repeating that over and over with no real endgame to speak of, huh? Yeah, that's a little sick, dude. You're tormenting innocent-ish people? So you have the wrong idea. No one person... And Salem is here against their will. Even you make all the necessary conditions. That is why I invited you. Oh, that was the guard. It seems the visiting hours are up. Everyone is in Salem of their own accord. Interesting. Hey, we're not done with our questions. So if everyone is in Salem of their own accord, so their circumstances, so 
something maybe hmm Sanson Matahari both feel guilt Cersei probably feels guilt is it feeling guilt or something if that's the case then why was Mash able to come Mash is a pure innocent cinnamon roll who should never feel any guilt whatsoever that's a good question at this point, it's mine. I am Randolph Carter. It would have been creepier if the red, glowing red eyes had stayed around a little longer. <sighs> Mace, how well you can see in the dark woods, Robin. I can barely keep up with you. I'm actually the son of a forest sage, believe it or not. That said, even I can't tell the night from day here. Well, there's our little albino girl. Avenia! Uh, thank goodness we found you before the court work invades at dawn. I'm not here to capture you, I promise. We don't want your help. No. no. Forget it. Uh-huh. Oh, running away again, are we? For all his other faults, Frenchie never ran. Uh, is he... Uh, uh, Sanson. 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 Idiot. You're such an idiot. Yes, that is agreeable. Statement. Thank you, Lavinia. Are you feeling better now? If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you about your situation and how you got here. We can't bring you back to the village now, for many reasons. But I hope you'll at least take advantage of the fire in Robin's cloak to stay warm. Thanks. Uh, a demon god pillar brought me and my family here and threatened us. I knew this Salem wasn't supposed to be here because even the time period was wrong. But, but we couldn't run away. The demon got pillar had us all trapped. M me, my parents, my grandfather. We tried wagons, sailboats, but none of us could ever leave. When the demon got pillar appeared and gave us orders, it always looked like a wriggling, waving black pillar, a really grotesque creature. Mm. What did the demon gather pillar ask your family to do? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. All I said was, do what must be done. We Waitleys come from a line of alchemist mages. Our greatest wish has always been for the outer god to descend here. It's been a closely guarded secret for generations, but somehow the demon god pillar knew of it. Outer god. Lovely. At least it's not an elder god. He was very interested. I eventually understood why, while I was investigating Salem. There were four guests here. Ones that came before us, I think. We were probably the sixth ones. And I think there used to be other people here that the demon god pillar forced to serve him. Did you figure out how the did you figure out that out from the graves in the forest? I know that there were six pretty shabby looking graves there. Frick the Elder Gods? <gasps> Why are you saying that? What have the Elder Gods done wrong? Some of them were still empty, too. That's right. That is the altar. But I still couldn't see the whole picture. I think the natives that killed Abigail's parents and the wharf and trade ships that shouldn't exist in this war time are probably guests. The Tuba. The Tuba was probably one of them, too. Abigail adored that woman. She always seemed special. For a time, I suspected she was actually controlling everything, but then she was executed. And I think all of you and Hopkins must be the seventh guests. Hmm, so how did Hopkins get here? Is he a modern person? That's so. Well, then which of us was the uninvited one? If Judge Hopkins was originally supposed to be the seventh guest. If so, does that mean we're the ones who reshifted here unexpectedly? Or the demon got pillar account for us as well? That can't be right. I mean, this is not at all going as the get pillar plant. <laughs> That's sad. I don't think there's much time left. Either for us or the demon god pillar. Please, the question answers itself. I suppose that's a fair point. Between Judge Hopkins and us, we really made a mess of things here in Salem, didn't we? So what's this outer god stuff all about? Is that a god like the Krom Kruash that demands sacrifice and whatnot? No answer to that one, eh? Something doesn't add up. 
I don't understand why a demon god pillar would seek another divine being when he already has godlike power. Probably just gets off on twisted crap like that, or he really likes the idea of dominating humans. Case in point, he went out of his way to recreate these sick witch trials. Would that really be enough for him to split off from Galatia? Not too long ago, Cersei passed a message along to Nessa from jail, and Nessa gave it to me. He said that the demon god pillar showed up looking like Mr. Carter. It says his mission here is to save mankind. Carter! Apparently he's taking a different approach from Galatia. His plan focuses on storing up an unimaginable amount of magical energy. What could possibly be? What are you two talking about? Are you Kabbalists? Or Cistrians? Free Masons? The Masons! The Masons are behind it all. I knew it. Ever since the beginning. I kid. I can't imagine you used to be mercenaries or soldiers. Oh, well, I guess you could say we're stargazers. Alright. Since Senpai isn't here now, I'll tell you about the organization we belong to, Caldea. Whoa, 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 you serious about this mash? In exchange, will you tell us everything you know about the secret outer god, please? I'm sure it'll help us with Senpai and Cersei's trial. And that it'll help us save Abby from her predicament. Okay, I'll tell you. I'm already dead anyway. I tried to sacrifice everything to the outer god, but I failed. I f feared for my life, so I ran away. Be because of that, my prayers never reached him. There's nothing wrong with wanting to stay alive, Lavina. I'm sure Abby and Sansa feel the same way. Ash, where's Abigail? Abby's been confined to the house where Hopkins is staying. I refuse to leave the guards by it until they put her there, because there's no place for a young girl. Afterwards, Matahari and I snuck her over there to visit her. But we couldn't see inside, so we still know how she's doing. I'm worried about her fever. Her fever. Yes, her fever. My family, my grandfather, started to change after we were brought here. He started to believe he was feeling with Abigail's parents, even though he wasn't. Our perspectives were starting to the same way. But despite that, my family's wish never changed. If anything, it made Grandfather even more eager to complete the ritual of descent. It was dangerous to do that in this village, but there was nothing I could do about it. Lavinia. Abigail followed me everywhere. It was really annoying. She wasn't like the other villagers. But my Grandfather thought he hated parents, and that Abigail was hiding something. So I pretended to be friends with her. She was curious about the outside world, so I taught her the ritual defense. defend. Of descent with a fake, fake grimoire. It was always my job to catch the birds and animals to be sacrificed. She was so happy playing with this excited altar. She called it a holy symbol. It was our own secret game. Over time, I started to go mad myself. Memories of things I'd never seen started flooding into me. It made me feel like I had grown up in Salem. I don't even know about any comet. Sounds like it was pretty rough for you, Lavina. No, it wasn't. The one who had it roughest is... Is that her blushing? The outer goddess. The god of the great gate. And the key. The six doors. Up. Down. Left. Right. Front and back. Represent all possible dimensions. And this outer god is enshrined beyond the ultimate gate. The outside of the universe, where light can never reach. But despite that, he also borders all possible dimensions, and is tied to all things. Some know him as Typhon, but in the Book of Ibon, that's been on their vernacular for generations, the Outer God is described as the All-in-One, the One and All. All Might? I didn't know All Might was an Outer God. And one for all as well. They're two aspects of the same outer god. My hero academia just became a lot more eldritch in nature. Hmm. 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 Alright, got an SQ. Town Hall is next. Final knot. This is four perks, each 25 AP. Um, ooh, Nessa. 
is not what I was thinking of. I was looking at the Queen of Sheba. Uh, are we weakened? We are weakened. Hmm. If I don't bring a Chaldean lunchtime, though, Shusaiku might get angry enough to shoot me. So let's bring a Chaldea lunchtime. Um, all of these enemies are still weak to Melt. So, yeah, let's keep going with Melt here. Melt Trillis for the win. I have no idea. I have no idea. It's section 8. The next morning, Salem, day 8. Town Hall Provisional Court. <sighs> evil. Evil everywhere. Spreading. Overpowering. Rampant. Yes, I don't need to bother with the disguise anymore. Nobody's paying attention to us. But hurry, look at those two. What the? They're both executed alongside me. Oh. That's interesting that they actually showing ghouls. Like dead humans. They're ghouls over there. And over here. Ghouls everywhere. I don't understand. Even the ones I could have sworn we defeated are here. Maybe they're like the two when they keep reviving as long as they have a role to play. Apparently living people as well. Mixed in beside these monsters. What is it, does it? Why do you keep glaring at everyone? There's no one here but monsters. Granted, it would feel pretty amazing just to let loose and go all out and can see things. And then again, if they were looking at us the way they're looking at us is anything to go by, it may come to that. I was looking for Sanson. However, not here, as I expected. That is a relief. He always was a heavy sleeper. And how would you know that, Matahari? How does Matahari know... That Sanson's a heavy sleeper, hmm? Am I sensing some love going on in Chaldea? Did Matahari worm her way into Sanson's heart, overcoming the place that Marie Antoinette holds? Or did Mozart simply win Marie's heart? So it's technically daybreak now, even though the day isn't broken, and this time it's looking more and more like the s of a damn zombie movie. What well, the Bible called this again, The Last Supper? No, that was one of Da Vinci's most famous paintings. Perhaps you meant The Last Judgment from the Book of Revelation. Oh, I guess you're familiar with it. By the way, Robin, I can't thank you enough for your help yesterday, for keeping an eye on Senpai in prison all night. Don't worry about it. I wasn't going to let them take the advantage of the confusion to execute Master in secret. Yes, please don't let me get executed in secret. There's Senpai and Cersei. See, Abby's here too. I guess she made it through the night okay, but she still seems awfully depressed. This court is now in session. Will the defendant please step forward? Oh, well, this a lovely view. Defendant Cersei. The court will now review the charges leveled against the Soul Company's child actress, Cersei, who stands accused of being a witch. Excuse me, I'm the queen with. I mean actress. Yes, actress. Get it right. Jeez. Cersei, you are accused of practicing witchcraft in public. There are a large number of people in this very courtroom who can attest to that personally. Do you admit your guilt in this matter? Yes, I've got no choice. The Book of Exodus clearly states thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Can you tell this court why you went against God's teachings and solid your hand in witchcraft? I could have cared less about your piddling little god. The only divinity I worship is Hecate, goddess of witchcraft and necromancy. But I will say this. The only real reason I used witchcraft back there was to keep the innocent people safe. I never meant any harm. So you admit your foul deeds of your own accord. I commend your honesty. Though your crimes are still punishable by death and shall never be forgiven, I am willing to grant you mercy in the light of your honesty. Executioner, attach heavy weights to her feet to ensure her hanging is quick and painless. Yes, your honor. Forget that burner. It's not an execution if she doesn't suffer through it, which is deserved to be burned at the stake. Yeah, that's right. Cooker, roaster, serve her up on a platter. Please, tell me, villagers, are we gonna resort to cannibalism now? I see, so that's what this feels like. Thanks, I hate it. Yeah, you did the best you could. Here, up next, soul. And just so you know, I'm afraid my death faking medicine won't work on you. Well, yeah, it's because I still have poison resistance from M.A.S.H. 
Thank God. Defendant Soul. Soul, you stand accused of many crimes. First are the allegations from Mr. Carter. Tell us, officer, were you able to corroborate his claims? I did find the remains of a campsite in the woods, Your Honor. But I'm afraid it was already deserted. I can't say for sure if Tatuba was staying there. I see, then I shall put Mr. Carter's allegations aside for the moment. Yeah, they sound a little ridiculous. Fine with me. Oh. Yeah. Where can I find a female corpse? Somebody give me a young... Okay, I'm not... No, no, I am not... No. I will draw a line here, because that... No. I started the line before I fully read through it. No, I am not finishing that line. No. 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 I have standards, thank you, Delightworks. Although, it is very creepy, and it fits with Salem. Oh, it's up again. I guess he must have died in the riot. You know, I wonder what all these ghouls are going to eat once there's no more corpses left to go around. Themselves, their very sins. The desire to atone can never be sated. It is one of the greatest impurities. The next accusation leveled against Soul is... That's it, I've had enough. Even if Mr. Ringmaster did do something bad, it's not Eve's fault. It's because he was always tried to help others, or me or someone else without worrying about it. How himself or how it might look. What about me? I'm a wish, remember? He saw the plainest day, right? Boy, why are you trying to frame innocent people when you have the real witch right here in front of you? No, that won't do at all. There must be a clear and unmistakable motive. Otherwise, my objective will never be met. I need atonement. True atonement. You must keep the story. You need more than 40 minutes for the last part. Oh, lordy Lou. Well, aren't you glad you skipped the story now? Because you missed out on amazingly interesting lines like Osborne the Ghoul's line. My niece is lying. She's one of those flights of fancy, so come and to girls her age. It's no surprise that the school performer would have any number of tricks up his sleeve to intend to mislead anyone who might cross his path. And of course, he could just as easily use these tricks to have others take the fall for his own misdeeds. Uncle Carter? If I may address the spectators directly, would you mind if I led this court proceedings for a moment? Oh. I trust that's all right with you, your honor. Very well, I shall permit it. You are certainly qualified to practice law. Thank you, your honor. Well, let me see if I just change in an instant. I guess I'm done with the pretense. As you will soon see, these traveling performers are directly responsible for Abigail's sins. First of all, let us refresh her memories pertaining to her first sin. Oh? <sighs> nice drink. Defend Abigail Williams. Abby, why does she not speak? Mash. This pertains to the events that befell Abigail's parents. I created the first Salem with many great attention to detail. My goal was to recreate history faithfully. However, it began to diverge from the moment of its creation. Humans truly are strange creatures. Even faced with identical situations, the outcome will differ in both weight, large and small. But the one thing that remained constant was that a girl named Abigail Williams was always at the center. I decided I had to keep a very close eye on this girl. Though the Williams' death may have been caused by a gun misfiring and a wagon overturning, young Abigail's actions were ultimately behind them. That was when we first met, wasn't it, Abigail? Yes, Uncle. Mother went quiet. Father's neck got tangled in the rains. And in the sky above the woods, there were many black birds. Now let us address her next sin in the second Salem. I inadvertently allowed Caldea to enter. What? It was an act of interference I never foresaw, stemming from a single one of their observational instruments. Laura's near future observation lens, Shiba, a highly advanced hybrid of science and magecraft capable of acquiring higher visual data. When the demon god pillars acted contrary to demon Guish's expectations, it was able to observe and restrain them. A detestable feature that was equally part safety and its liability. As if to prove that point, it scrunched up with a little intelligent head and then acted the, had the termity to act on its own accord. Summoning heroic spirit and sending it to this very land. Apparently, the Queen of Sheba was the only human Goetia ever trusted. Wow. That's interesting, actually. Huh. Okay, so... We didn't have... We weren't called here. Sheba was called here. The Queen of Sheba. 
What a disgusting display of sentiment. How anyone could feel such a thing is beyond me. At any rate, she would detect the serving robbing demon god pillar and alerted Caldea. Then overloaded the heroic spirit summoning system and used itself as a catalyst to send a single heroic spirit into Salem. I will admit that it was a quick and expeditious act. At that point, the Salem phenomena had devoured the magical energy of 50,000 people inside and was proceeding at 105,000 times the normal speed. Oh. They're all dead. Oh. The Zoric Spirit interface caused it to slow down dramatically. However, doing so exhausted the heroic spirit, and the potency of her abilities was greatly reduced. Ah, oh, yes, that reminds me. Whatever happened to the real Tituba, Abigail? She became a ghoul. She's still in the woods, even now. Abby knows this. That's right. It was your suggestion. It was truly a wonderful one. As I recall, ghouls consume the mind of the dead, thereby becoming one with them. Isn't that right? Let us now address her third sin. Although the heroic spirits had been rendered nearly powerless, slowing down time had a huge detrimental effect on the test's efficiency, and I had already used up a fifth of Salem. With time and magical energy running out, I began to grow reckless. It was then that I asked you for advice. What was it you said to me? I said I would like to have a friend. When I was a poor lonely child, completely forsaken by God, and even if God didn't love her, I could. That... That's both sad and disturbing. Huh. Oh. Hmm? Lavinia Whitley. Huh? Huh? Lavinia, you shouldn't be here. Run! No, it's time I have my day in court, too. Lavinia Whitley. If you have decided to stop fleeing and are prepared to answer for your crimes, you are welcome in my court. Thank you, Lavinia. Oh, it's her. Okay, I'm not... Okay, what is with these lines? I would rather say whatever it was I said when I was had to voice Liz, who was being a bikini model, again, than say these lines sometimes. No! That's gonna be so out of context! Sir, I've always wanted to... Dine with her. I can't wait any longer. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Bag off, buddy. No one leaves a high on the hand on our witness while we're around. Master Carter, I've got some evidence too. Also, when did the Reverend die? Oh, really? It will help if it will help the proceedings go smoothly. I would be happy to hear it. Sure, here it is. <coughs> it's powder of heaven, Gazi. It's blind to make spirits materialize. But you want to know whose corpse I made it from? <coughs> if you're going, told the trial needs to be on even ground. It's not fair for you to be the only one in a mask. Now show yourself. <coughs> wait, wait! <coughs> Great. Thanks for all the help. Now I can get to this courthouse's bounded field in my true form. Oh no, that I thought that was Waitley still talking. Okay. Sheba. I haven't handled a demon god pillar in a long time. But don't worry, it's just like riding a bike. Not the demon god pillar rom. If you're going to show your true identity and use your full power, then I have no qualms about expanding the scope of the negotiations. Okay, Master of Caldea, you're all set. As long as I'm here in this courtroom, nothing you do will break any religious precepts. And you'll no longer have to worry about an intelligence debuff. I promise you a square deal. Thanks, Majesty. Also, Rom. Rom. Where? Which demon killer is Rom? No need for thanks. We can talk price later. Which one was Rom? Burn the witches. Burn the oh, they're all dead. They are all ghouls. Okay. What about Hopkins? Is he here? No, it doesn't mean everyone in the villager has already been a ghoul to begin with. Yeah, so, I think they were even better disguised than us. Much as it pains me to admit it. So by the day, the rational people, by night, they're voracious ghouls. 
I don't know if Abigail affected them more or they affected Abigail. Whatever the case, they're clearly not holding back anymore. That's true, but even so, they were all human when this began. Perfectly ordinary humans who simply had the most fortune of finding themselves trapped in this Salem. Everyone's like that when you get past the surface. You never have to worry about this with animals. It's careless, negligent. Do we need to eradicate them? It's all coming us at once. What should we do, Master? We got this. I got confidence in spades. True. That is a good point. If they aren't bothered by it, then they... That is a very fair point. And it explains why they're out now when it is the darkest day. <gasps> it's the darkest day! Oh my goodness, are we going to see a Gigantamax Pokemon in Salem as well? It's darkest day after all. Man, I don't have a Gigantamax Pokemon. Hmm. Mash, I choose you. Gigantam- no, Dynamax. Now! Become Giant Mash. Is that Tituba? No, that's... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. Transform! Not again. How many times has it been? I'm sick of this. Sick of it! Uh. Abby, don't look at me. Gosh! Our fourth sin was inviting the souls of sinners here to Salem. She summoned those who took part in humanity's witch trots here, and did so most mercifully. Traitors who let their fears get the better of them, and sold out their own families. Investig instigators who succumbed to the sick thrill of the traffic others. Double crossers who refused to face the truth of the torture machine in which they were complicit. Hypocrites who went through the throng to all for who instant about invisible demons only they could see. Yes, they were all irredeemably greedy. So greedy I can no longer even see to hate them. Even in death, they make for redemption, so they have entrusted their wish of forgiveness to a false crown. Okay. Oh, I, her blue eyes even become red. Rama's demon from Ars Goy shows true form as a crow, but can take a human form. Yeah, but like. Is he part of the armory, of the trash bin? I can't even remember all of them, but like how each of the demon god pillars were part of a group. In faith, like what was he part of? It's cool to know the actual mythology of it though. Thank you, Geistal. And welcome as well, Geistal. Welcome, welcome. I should have focused on the Elder Moon first. I really should have focused on the other goal first. Also, does Melt have high debuff resistance or something? Because she resists both of those curses. Which now makes me need to kill and get to the final wave much faster. Because, uh, yeah, Merlin and Weva are gonna die otherwise. Oh, that's only 600. Okay, I thought that was gonna be 2,000. There we go. Uh... Uh... What the... What the hell is this thing? Shantak. What the f It's a horse bird. It's a unicorn dragon bird? What the Who can who's who who was smoking what when they came up with this thing? Who was smoking what? Uh mm, I'm definitely not gonna one shot this. <laughs> This thing is like a fever dream come to life. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It just looks so weird. Also, I should have probably done tactician's advice. Um, we're getting closer to being able to use melt virus. I think it's actually more of a unicorn herb, you know? Okay. 
with how that was looking, I was going to... Onyx? Brilliant. Oh. That sucks. How long does that last? Three turns. Fudge. Fudge, 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 and fudge, fudge. Eh, Merlin will be fine. Merlin will be fine. Hmm. He is getting a little low health, I admit. I freely admit that. Mental maths, mental maths. I like math. Uh, do I risk the stun here? No. Do it like this. Now Merlin's NP is ready, which can give us a little bit of healing and crit star gen to counteract the crit star drop rates that down that we're getting. And we got the good melt cards. But is Melt strong enough to punch 312k with two quick cards? Shusaiku, you're the math man. Can Melt punch 312,987 HP with two quick cards? Do you think? Also, something that occurred to me, and I will tell you after I get a drink. I am incredibly thankful that the servants' levels being halved didn't also lock lock off skills. Can you imagine how much more hellish this would be if we didn't have access to all the skills of our servants? I'm gonna actually do it like this. Because this way, she has a metric ton of attack. Because they last for three turns, after all, so, you know. And I forgot to do Melt Virus. I'm freaking brilliant. I'm a genius to keep forgetting Melt Virus. Okay. Yeah. Abby. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a creepy laugh. What did she just inflict upon us? Defense down. Terror. Chance to stun once each turn. Oh, no. Um, no. Abby, no. You're not stunning me, Abigail Williams. You're not. You're going to die, and you're going to like it. Defense down. Yeah. Defense down and stun. Okay. That was good. And the crit hits. And Waver is terrorized. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Okay, we got a steak and we got embers. We got embers from that. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Just taking its time. Alright, still weakened. Another 25 AP. Assassin and Zerker. Gotta keep with the Merlins. Yep, Carter was the demon god the whole time. Carter was Rom. And... I really do want to know what he was a part of. I do remember that you, that Amy, or some Amy, it doesn't necessarily need to be you, Red Velvet, was a part of the trash heap. Because after all, would Gilgamesh really be so happy to have a demon god pillar as his master? You gotta think of it that way. Also, why do I still have Parcellus? He's bond five, but 
This has been Bond 5 a while now. Um... Caster Coup. Sure, you can become Bond 5 next. How close is Waver? 58,000. He probably won't get there before Salem's done, unfortunately. But we'll make good progress. <sighs> Abigail, does it hurt? Wait, the smell. Roses. <sighs> what should I do? Is it okay to set you free? Avenia, you're putting back Abby. Back to normal. The scent is almost upon us. Abby is still here, but it's too late. What? You can reach such realms. Ah, yes, trash sheep and drumless. Your Honor, Josh Alcorn, this is not over yet. Continue the trial. We will all see this through to the end once more. Once again, you will sentence the witches. Yes, of course, Mr. Carter. Order. Order. Go ahead, that's it. Uphold the honor of the Holy Court and continue this trial. Continue to pass judgment here in this called for Satan Salem until the god worth worshipping appears. You shall do it as many times as it takes. You shall revive as many times as you must, even until you are no more lung lumps of writhing tissues. Whoa, somebody smoked him. No, you shall not. This court is no longer in session, Ram. You may have tried to use the entire city of Salem as a catalyst for summoning a host of spirits. But the people of Salem's magical energy is running dry. You have nothing left to work with. And I will not rest until every last grain of golden dust that has slipped through King Solomon's figures return to him. That is what I swore to do as a heroic spirit. Oh yes, I will eventually return to the void where my kin await. But not yet, not yet! Also, I'm trying a parrot-like voice for him, because I really don't know what a raven would be, you know? Oh, God. Matthew, Luke, during the trial of the Queen of the Southern Kingdom, stood beside those of his age, confirming their guilt. She had come from the ends of the earth to hear Solomon's wisdom for herself, but here she found one who surpassed Solomon. Let us review her fifth sin. This is the most grievous yet. Placing trust in others, what a foolish naive thing to do. Abigail's unshakable fate shrouded Salem in a file and a fog of light. Is this it was this very thing that completely obviated guilt, and with it any distinction between good and evil. Those were the sinners stuck in purgatory, neither punished for their forgiven for their foul deeds. Enough to give them the witch find a general chance for salvation. Enough for him to see a healing in a place so dripping with evil that I can't even stand it. Okay, so let me get this straight. So, Rom turned Salem into nothingness. Um, he tried to recreate Salem drawing souls from purgatory, the souls of purgatory that were hoping for salvation, which means Abigail was one of those souls in purgatory. However, Abigail did something in that first time, first rewind, that caused Rom to draw his attention towards her, which is allowing her to re remember each repeat. In the second repeat, our Sheba observational lens saw through into this and summoned Sheba to Salem because of the fact that there was a demon god pillar there. This continued for a few repeats until eventually we came in. Ha Abigail, though, being a beacon of hope for redemption, sounds like, drew in other spirits that were otherwise in purgatory to Salem that were hoping for redemption, which is why Hopkins came in. Okay, so Hopkins genuinely wanted to be redeemed. Or something along the or salvation, rather. Abigail, you have sin once again? Yes, it's because you are a sinner that you trusted me. Soul of Chaldea, Queen of Sheba, if you want her, come and claim her. I shall protect my niece with my life. Now pray, pray, pray! Pray changed spelling halfway through that, Rom. Proper grammar, please. 
Punishment, 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 punishment. Ask for punishment. Ask and you shall receive. I think Father Rom spent this entire abnormality. Also, I like how the color just literally faded before our eyes. Did anybody else notice that? It was much brighter and now it's much darker. So. Oh. Ma so. Da Vinci, it's good to hear your voice again. I come supposed to be back online. Damn straight, and that's that all, in case you haven't noticed yet. The mist the bounded field close. Clothes that have been covering Silma are rapidly dissipating. I'm looking at their area, and right now, we're finally getting data about your battle. And well, these readings, if I knew I had known to be a demon god pillar, I'd hang in there. Setting reinforcements. Thank you, that'll be great. No problem, not that you'll need them, seeing how the USA army is on its way there as we speak. Okay, what is the army gonna do? No offense, but what is the army gonna do against a demon god pillar? I don't want to be nuked if that is their solution. Yeah! Dry this glorious star spangled better on for size, you cretins! That hurt. <coughs> Dang it, Edison, I thought I was done with your voice. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Stop them, please. Watch why! What are you saying, Sol? Don't be ridiculous. No, my friend has a point. Magical energy is being consumed at absolutely astonishing rate. Not only on the East Coast, but along the entire continent. This consumption is primarily taking place in heavily populated areas. We are receiving more reports with each passing second. This phenomenon seems to have no regard for the old battlefield field in place whatsoever. I don't have much time to choose my words carefully, so be it the power of being laughed at in the room. I believe the very underpinnings of Magecraft are starting to become fractured. A heretic! Ah, oh, not again! This means there's our casualties among ordinary people this time, correct? The valor on the battlefield is all more important now! Uh, can we do anything about this other than stop this ROM? There's still a number of Chaldea agents and mages cooperating with us, and they're keeping eye on Salem's perimeter. I'll ask them for help. No, wait, that won't be nearly enough to make a difference. To all, all the help, alchemists, agents of the Holy Church, knights, I'll have to put out the maximum alert, letting them know there's a her heretic that could pose a threat to us all. Whichever happens, I swear that I will super responsibility on behalf of Chaldea. It's gonna end up giving them an excuse to ask cement Chaldea as it stands now, but I'm afraid it must be done nonetheless. We have no alternative. Uh, yes we do. Just give me a half an hour to kick some butt. Send... Who can I send to who distract? I don't have a guild match to distract an army. Send an Enkidu! Enkidu can distract an army! Yes. Why Chaldea exists in the first place? And if every last record is away, Chaldea will still have fulfilled its role. We're the first line of defense. Whether up against a heretical sword projected from a demon god pillar. Heh. <laughs> sword projected. Is that a hint? Is Shiro a demon god pillar? Or a threat to all humanity itself? It will be the shield against the legend poise that is set upon us against the relics of heresy. The rest of the staff and I will take it from here, Mash. You focus on staying abreast of the situation. And Sol, I need you to focus on this next decision. So listen up, Sol. We're going to temporarily seal off Salem again. Only this time, we're going to do so from the outside by establishing multiple bounded fields. Unfortunately, this means we'll be sealed in there too. If you aren't able to resolve this in the limited time you have, we're going to have to use every means at our disposal to incinerate everything within these bounded fields we're about to erect. Even knowing that, do you still? Yes. Do not let Caldea fall. Long live Caldea. Long live Caldea! I can smell its alluring aroma everywhere. The ascent is almost upon us. Yah! Yah! Yagna! I'm pretty sure I'm in. No, I'm in. Ch yeah, I am in chapter 8. I am currently in chapter 8. Or section 8, at least. And plus, I have been doing double Merlin Waver. I just don't swap into the second Merlin, you know? I haven't had need for it. Ugh. Why does it have to still half us? When will I be unsealed? I thought you said I was no longer weakened, Chiba. Also, curse that Elder Ghoul. How dare it survive. 
How dare that elder ghoul survive my wrath? Okay, good. Next turn, we can do the invincibility for the crit star gen. We can pop a melt virus. And we can be a Q. It's in the game. If only I had NP2 mounts. But hey, we got 50 crit stars, so, you know, that works. Oh, it's been a while. Brom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your demise. Alright. Rom is gonna go down hard and fast here. There is no way he can stand up to us. We have a stupidly buffed out Melt here. And everybody knows Melt is a beast slayer. Doot. Doot doot. Right, what's the MP lines this time? Melting all trace of life. That works for me, Melt. And I don't understand what you just said there, guys, so I really do not. And need is dead. Minute, the time of mass manifestation has become. Oh, wow. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. No. Bad Demon God Teller. Bad. No. No. You are not killing Melt. Ah. I see. But you are not killing my Melt Straw. Downcast Eye. He has evasion. How long does this evasion last for? It's a one hit evasion. Raum? Oh, is it Raum? And not Rom? Is it Raum? Ah. Uh, think, 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 think. Sun. Okay. And then. Ah, Caldea Banzai. I see. Cool. Ah, uh, boom, boom, boom. Ah, Kiriki san. Then, give me down. I re. Hmm. Actually. Okay, I, I see a power forward here. I said I don't like to swap, but I'm swapping. Come in. Back up Merlin. Give me some charisma here. Um, the charge drain is pretty much guaranteed with Weva, but I'm going to hold off because the defense down could prove more valuable. We do want to apply illusion. And then we need to get a melt NP here, please, game. I need another melt. Incineration Ritual, wrong. Okay, I don't understand what he's saying, game. It'd be, not... It'd be nice if I knew. Nullify buff, huh? You suck, Rom. And I mean, you suck. Nullify buff. Really? Ah, nullify buff. Fudge nougat. Come on, stun it, stun it, stun it, stun it. I didn't even drain its bar. Oh, it doesn't have a bar. I'm, I'm dumb. 
I am dumb dumb here. I thought it still had a bar left for NP. I am a dumb dumb. Yes, I am. I am a dumb dumb, is what I am. Asian. At least it's only getting one attack. And it crit freaking missed. Also, the crit, the quick buff, that's what was lost. Melt lost her quick buff. But, that should only last for one turn, right? Yep, one turn of evasion, that's it. I can work with that. So I only need, hopefully, one punch. One knee! One knee! Nicely done, Melt. Melt, the one knee girl. And that's cool. And three Phoenix Feathers. I suppose it makes sense to give us feathers. Ra Raum was a burb. Raum was a burb. Oh, we're still going here. Oh. Hang on. Let me grab a Merlin. I see that. I see that. Have they updated it here? They haven't put it here yet. Well, there it is. You'll see it. The official symbol for what's to come. For a class that is awesome to me. One that alter egos will be quite decent with. Abigail! Abigail! Boom! I mean, Carter's head is tearing itself off. He's going full crow! Aim! Fire! Damn it! What? Robin, why would you shoot her? Robin, what the fuck? Oh, wait, no, that's what Raum was going for. Oh. Oh, wow. That's a kind of disturbing shot there. That is a kind of disturbing image. Is that a spider, cr a spider raven? Hang on, that raven has hands like a spider. Is that spider raven? Uh, uh, the time space gates are increasing in number. Non-fictional non -fi no non mage can hope to stand against this threat. Their sixth sin is barely worth mentioning. Abigail will surely abandon everything. Human hearts, words, hope. <laughs> she just crushed Rome under her heel. Abby. Lavina. Lavinia? I guess she's dead. Lavinia. Cersei, give me something good here. Abby. It's too late. I'm afraid so. I'm gonna get lost last for humanity when Rob kept us busy. Room. Let's see, because there's nothing we can do but figure out. Cannot reach her. Yeah, I kind of figured, but I had to try. She just lost her best friend, and we're trying to kill her? What kind of monsters are we? Spider Crow, Spider Crow, does whatever a Spider Crow does. It is creepy, kind of creepy. Is it creepy? Kind of creepy. Sud Typhoon, Sud Typhoon, thou art a sinner. Thou art the sixth knot. To seek redemption in this land of heresy is to reap the devil's harvest. Now let us pray to our Father, who art in heaven. Sut Typhoon, Sut Typhoon, thou art a sinner. 
that with their seventh knot, to seek redemption in this land of purgatory is to worship false idols. Oh, she's powering up again! Look at all the tentacles. Ooh, I uh Mash, Mash, please, please take a couple miles step back here, Mash. Um I've seen enough stuff to know where this is going, and I don't want you to have to experience that. Also, it looks like um people didn't have to be concerned. Abigail has not been censored. This is first in the battlefield. This violation of religious precepts. That's not a demon god. That's a false god in every sense of the word. Yeah, was she just possessed? Pain, aching, suffering. What are the most precious joys for a human? Happiness, love. These all fade and disappear. The guilt one feels over one's sins. That torment lasts forever. Even in death, it is the impulse that drives evil ghosts to act, and it turns them into detestable ghouls. Is there anyone who has never sinned? Is there anyone in this whole world who is not a child of a sin? No, and so I shall bestow my gift upon all sinners. Punishment. Punishment in the form of unadulterated suffering. That is the only path to redemption. So I will bless each and every person in this world with suffering. That is my joy. Okay, that's a creepy smile. Let me please stop this. The gates reach across all time and space. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still not accustomed to using them. Oh, this bound and field keeps obstructing me. I can't focus my aim. I can't inflict enough pain. Is she just casually breaking the bounded field? I see. So I can't reach outside. Even though I'm, all I'm trying to do is find the most sinful people alive. Then if I reach, just reach through the battlefield itself to send pain directly to the mage's hearts. Please stop this. Abby, please. I see you understand, Mr. Ringmaster. I'm like mashed. You don't have to do this. And even with all these people looking for salvation, your happiness is my happiness too, you know? Yeah, just loving life is a pain enough. That's awful. Poor things. But it's not nearly enough. I can never leave Salem. Not ever. My own sins still sleep deep within this land. So then I'll just have to make every war part of Salem. I'll connect everything with myself. Nestor, you must kill that false god. Nestor. That, not Abigail. It is a false god. An evil god. If Abigail, fallen from grace, truly possesses untainted strength, then something should remain, even after we defeat it. My own soul is proof of that. Got it. That's right. Everything. England, Rome, Jerusalem. I'll connect them all to each other. To me. And then I'll bestow upon them eternal, unending pain. Pain. Pain upon everyone. Okay, so this isn't... This isn't Abigail's true thoughts, then. This is... This... Abigail does feel like she herself needs punished. But whatever kind of thing... Whatever is influencing her is tainting her thoughts. But that's what the... Eldritch does. Okay. That's a battlefield. Also, lots of Elder Ghouls here. Lots of elder ghouls. And all the keyholes. Man, where's Sora when you need him? He can lock up gates. He'd be able to take care of Abigail. Sora! 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 No, wait, no. In order to get Sora here, we need Kyrie. Kyrie is much easier to obtain than Sora. After all, she is very easy to get. Even though she's a fully trained Keyblade Master, which kind of is silly, but you know, that's game logic. Ah, the lovely, lovely squelching sounds. Squelch, squelch, squelch game. 
Another one of these things. These things are so strange. Also, I really should be using tactics and advice more often. I'm taking far more punishment than I should be. I mean, but does she really know who Yasufoth is, though? I mean, before being. Did she know that she was contracting with some elder being that would warp her very perception of reality itself? Or was she just told that it's a god that would help people find salvation? We don't know. Really? We don't know. Also, I did a good thing! I used Melt Virus properly! Finally! Finally, I used it properly! I'm so proud of myself. And it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like I needed to use it at all. Or maybe I did. That's a mass hysteria. I don't like mass hysteria. Mass hysteria is bad for the soul. Also, she doesn't have an NP gauge. She did? Oh, well. Hmm. She wasn't seeking salvation. She was practicing demonic rituals with Lavinia. Huh. I didn't read it like that. You must have. I must have read it wrong then. I read it that she was doing. I mean, there. It's a whole. It's weird. Yeah, she didn't make. She made a stupidly massive mistake. You mean? A mistake she made has so so much wrong. Also, because of this, I don't need to utilize the crit buffs yet. Or Buster, because Melt's a quick server. And I don't have Scotty. Yet. Hopefully I'll get her. Hopefully. Also, what does the Weight League family remind you of? Like, oh, I forgot to address that, but... Well, that was... easy. That was weird. That was very, very weird. She's alive again. Okay. How many lives do you possess, Abigail? How many lives? At least we're no longer terrified. Oh, you can use that continuously. That's actually kind of annoying. That is legitimately kind of annoying that she can continue prompting Max Hysteria. So She doesn't even have guts. She's just rewinding time so she doesn't die. Attack down. Ooh. I think this is all of Abigail's actual proper skills, too. I mean, Mel is taking a big beating here, even though she has resistance. As is Merlin, though. Fair. Okay, nobody stunned this turn. And I believe we have enough. Ooh, that that hurt a lot. And of course she would NP drain Merlin. Of course she would. Um, but now we have the crits. Yo, the the, the crits. Nerf the outer god possessing her. Uh. Cool. When those who intend to make others suffer admit they do it out of hatred. Hmm. I don't know. I I must have sincerely read the whole Abigail situation completely wrong. 
I must have just met it, read it completely incorrectly. Okay, so that doesn't get rid of the stuff. That's good to know. That is good to know. And yeah, I mean, having a false reasoning for why you're doing bad things, it does sort of... That is sort of, like, weaken the whole argument for using them. Like, saying you're doing bad things for good reasons. That does... The road to hell might be paved with good intentions, but... It's not that... It's not that heavily paved. I want to... How many times do I have to keep teaching you this legend? This lesson, you elder lolly. Okay. Apparently, I taught her the lesson well enough. Interesting. You finished the whole of Salem, haven't you, by the way, guys? So, you've already finished it all? Final Knot. Again, casters, but also Abby. Because there's that foreigner symbol. Uh, yeah. Go with it like this. Uh, am I no longer weakened? I don't think I'm weakened anymore. If I'm not weakened, then that's good. Bale went back in time. Andres shut down during his escape. Fenix trapped within a pit of his endless life. And I'll be making a garden to tend to my wounds. You said it too late, Shusaki. You said it as I pressed start. I just went with the Caldea lunchtime. I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Choose Caldea lunchtime. What about you, Rob? Will your solution be to all this? Good question. I believe I'll put my faith in faith. Superstition. Delirium, enlightenment, fiction. They will be my tools to end reality. What do you mean by that? The world is rife with legends, with stories that are neither divine, mystical, or demons incarnate. The Mage Association is a department dedicated to folklore. It's one of the association's most closely guarded secrets. But what's more, it's guarded by Brishan, one of our king's pupils. And I will see what I can accomplish by combining these legends with superstition. I believe I will start by creating a town steeped in superstition. I will conduct trial after trial there until I get the results I want. I'm your second use waiver slash Merlin's report. Uh, I'm using Caster Gill as the support servant instead of a waiver or Merlin. We exist solely to save mankind, however. Neither faith nor old age nor permanence nor hope has been able to save humanity so far. I'm sure you now understand this too, Zapar. The truth can never save mankind. You're being rash. We have not tried every truth or vision of it. Your conclusion is... Silence. Enough. You are just like all the other fools, piling failure upon failure with no results. Truth is useless. By key lies in superstition. Fiction. Things that don't exist in this universe. Things that don't exist in this universe? Do you mean you're going to open paths to ultimate worlds, places that don't even exist in parallel dimensions? That is beyond us. We are born of order and common sense. We are bound by this world's laws. Even if there are universes outside of our own, you have no means of reaching them and no attunement to them. Indeed, but by sheer mad coincidence, I won't have to reach it myself. Humans apart. Humans have already taken care of everything. Happily, a fictional mythology describing the fever dreams of a single man just so happened to also be a... to also describe a higher being from the outer universe. Just so happened to, you know? It just happened to be that all of this was actually real. The two align perfectly, and a tiny part of it, that being, has been left an imprint on this universe. Even if the, every word of this man's story was nothing but sheer delusion, he still succeeded in opening a path. This was, doubtless, a prophecy, and in this mad prophecy I saw possibilities. I will take this madness, this fiction, and make it real. This new reality is what will mislead really mankind. Yes, of course, we should have seen it all along. We never could do it ourselves. This very universe makes it impossible, in which case, what we needed was a monster from another world who is not bound by our laws, a being who abides by rules that even we, in our limitless wisdom, cannot comprehend. And this fictional foreigner who finally put an end to mankind. Ridiculous. A number of dropouts emerged from within us during the battle at the Temple of Time. Demon Godrop, 
and Goetia's absence, I decree the following. This delusion of yours will be your undoing. Your approach already failed 14,000 years ago. What happened 14,000 years ago? Hang on, hang on. How did his approach already fail here? Fail. How did his approach already fail? I wish to know! Sorry, Mr. Ringmaster. It's just not working. Good. No, I'm sure I can't save anyone that way. So, this just isn't enough suffering to save the world. Okay, it's so... It... Oh. Really? Wait. Raum was responsible for Altera? Is that what that's implying? If so, that's wild. I mean, I guess Altera did come. Altera and Velbar did come from beyond the stars. So. Huh. That's interesting. And see, I totally. I totally feel like that's a little bit of a split personality there. I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading it incorrectly. Maybe I still have hope. She's growing stronger. Soul of Caldea. I'm sure you understand. You also wish for everyone in the world to be saved. Isn't that right? That's why you're invited to Salem, after all. Your guilt sought solace here. I mean, it is truly horrific sin on your hands. The people of Earth miss their chance to be judged, ever since they have lived with their souls unsaved. It's far greater sin than anything Stanton, or Hopkins, or Uncle Carter ever did. But that doesn't matter anymore. You no longer need to suffer for your sins. I'll pardon you myself. Wait, wait, what? You also wish for everyone in the world to be saved. Your guilt sought solace here. It's truly horrific sin on your hands. So... Because we want to save the world, it's a guilty thing? How would we have guilt on our hands from saving the world? The only thing we did from desiring to save the world. I mean, yes, there are many, many ways you want if you can go about saving the world, which can generate guilt. But I mean, how would we have gener How would we be guilty by wanting to save everyone? I mean, we're the good guys. I can think of no scenario which would lead us to causing, which would lead to us feeling guilty for saving everybody. I can't think of any reason why that would happen. Senpai, please get a hold of yourself. She's telling the truth. Master? La Mortis Lespior. Robin! You're out of your mind if you think our ringmaster's got anything to feel guilty about. I got no clue what you're on about, but I know you're dead wrong about that. No reason people should feel guilt for trying to do the right thing. That is true. That is true. That's why the whole Good Samaritan law is a thing. I don't know. Actually, it's a, good, it's a thing in America. I'm not sure if it's a thing other places, but that's why the Good Samaritan law is a thing. So people cannot be punished for trying to do the right thing. Because people used to be punished for trying to do the right thing. An innocent bystander who got injured and somebody else who tried to help the injured person but ended up causing more harm used to be prosecuted until the Good Samaritan law was put into effect. It is a thing. Maybe because of people we couldn't save in the singularities. I suppose that could have some guilt layered upon it. We couldn't save everyone, and we are we do feel guilty for that fact. We couldn't save Romani. We weren't strong enough to save the world by ourselves. So Romani had to pay the ultimate price. I mean, I guess I can see a little bit of guilt in that sense. It's a very twisted logic and a little bit of a jumping through hoops to get to that bit of guilt. But even still, I mean... Take from me, if our ringmaster had any unconscious feelings, it wasn't for guilt for the world. And if anything at all, it would be responsibility to all the people he failed to save. Arrogance and believing that he could have done better if only he'd somehow done things differently. Robin, stop reading my mind! Okay, Robin? Stop reading my mind! You aren't supposed to be able to read minds! You're not a caster! 
He may be great, but he's still just an ordinary person. Same as me. There's no way he'd ever wish to save everyone in the world. Okay, he can't read minds. Whew! Not once. He couldn't give a rat's ass about saving people in a walled garden. Okay, Robin, I don't know where you're getting this judgment of character from. All he cares about is making sure everyone's got a bright future ahead of them. I mean, yes, but why not save people if we can? We did that with Shinjuku. Good, you got that easygoing spark back in your eyes. That's more like it. I mean, enough, enough of this whole no killing matter, no matter what crap. You can't go around trying to seek forgiveness from people who are already dead. Otherwise, the scholar guy wouldn't have a damn leg to stand on. That was his last ray of hope, after all. Hmm. I suppose. Your servants have no right to tell the living what to do. Okay, you're a servant too. The only difference is that you've got all of Salem's incredible magical energy at your command. That's not true. Yes, come on, Abby. Let loose your hatred and come with me. Someplace right, Abby? There's a great wide world outside of Salem. A real world that no book can do justice. Not even the Bible. A world that people built, working together, and are still building. More in to this day. That's the sort of future we have the power to create for ourselves. <laughs> so what? Did you all figure it would be easy to save a single child? Is that what you thought? There. I just broke through your little barriers. I guess I just couldn't hold back any longer. Now there's nowhere in the world I can't reach. Some stubborn mages are still putting up a fight. They'll crumble sooner or later. Okay, this is really bad, Soul. She's effectively got her hands on unlimited magical energy now. And she's not going to stop forgiving until everyone on this planet is neck and unimaginable torment. No, we won't let that happen. She's got to have a limit. She's got to. Yeah, let's show her the limit smash. Seriously, I know you've already been through a lot, but I have one last favor to ask of you. I wouldn't say that myself, but anyway, let's hear it. I guess this isn't using the gates to their full potential. She isn't completely fused with this outer god of hers. That means Mash is right, she does have a limit. She should be able to punch through the bar my barrier and hurt soul, but she hasn't done that either. So I'd like you to help me seal up all of these gates from the inside, Cersei. After all, you're good at luck. People up and making sure they'll never escape, right? Huh, you got a lot of nerve saying that to my face, you know. That's what you're really asking for is me to help you take in the full force of all this torment she's directing at the outside world, right? I suppose you could put it that way, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be all honest. Okay, I'm in. Can't have one of the last remaining witches show me the Queen Witch up now, can I? Alright then. So, oh right, we forged a contract. So, Master, Sheep and I are sitting on this fight out. Instead, we're gonna use our mag magecraft to make another bear inside this town hall. You can't. That's tantamount to suicide. God would never allow that. Sorry, rookie. The only die I worship is Hecate, goddess of witchcraft and necromancy. And she's nothing like the superstitious hookum of yours. Hmm. Oh? Wait, no way! The master of the wind on our shoulders is gone. The bear got rid of the spell that's been weakening us. My full power. Now unleashed. Hey. Thank you, Queen of Sheba. Thank you, Cersei. You're welcome. But if you wouldn't mind hurrying up... Yeah, please. Your master sure likes to take his time, doesn't he? Yes, he does. I mean, if I don't take my time, then how am I gonna make sure everybody's happy? Abby? Mr. Ringmaster, time for play acting is over. Okay, she's got to have some sort of split personality from all this madness. She calls me Soul of Chaldea, but then she also calls me Mr. Ringmaster. She is not all there in the head. There's got to be two distinct sides to her. One that's overflowing with eldritch knowledge and one that's not. You can be so willful sometimes, can't you? can be so willful sometimes, can't you? Yes. Yes, I'm very willful. Which is why I can't wait any longer. I'm dying to forgive you before I forgive anyone else. Yeah, I've got more will than you in spades. Can't wait to go on my next journey! Yeah, I don't want to be safe dying. No, 
No, you can't. Absolutely not. If you do, Father may forgive you, but I never will. So please, would you do me a favor? You die in vain. Hear my Salem? No. I'm not gonna die here. I will stay alive. Uh, 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 uh. Stay in alive. Stay in alive. あ、あ、あ、あ、ステイアライ。よし、戦いだ。苦手だけど全力で行こうか。あ、おのさんのままに。無駄だ。No. I shall not quit. I shall never surrender. I shall remember to use tactician's advice. For the damage cut and other such benefits. Because I am smart cold. That's okay, good. No resist to the crit star drop right down. Uh do do do. There we go. I didn't do Mount Virus purposefully this time. Also, I lost crit stars there. Grand battle. She's got an NP bar now. Oh, we can guard against that. That's actually pretty good. Okay. We'll risk it. Do Mount Virus. I find it hilarious that I never use that offensively. Or defensively, rather. I feel like the amount of defense down it gives is really pointless. Okay. Merlin being stunned sucks hard. But this is fine. We're not even gonna use any attack boost. Just straight do this. Ah. Nope. No spoils, please. Please, no spoils. <laughs> and stun lock multiple turns in a row. Oh, lovely. That's gonna be fun. Okay. Now. Crush all the attack boosts we can Because I see with my little eye a melt who has a full chain attack here. And he is not suffering from any terror. So. BQQ. She resets. Okay. She does have a form of NP gen, so we're gonna stun her for a turn. So that that is that. And then Dude, dude, dude. Good, it is good. Now we do illusion. And hmm. I have this is the last turn of the buffs. If I do this properly though, which should be this. Should be good enough. So the, beaconer, so the NP blasts her down again. And then, yes. Called it properly. So that's two times through. So far. She does, in fact, do her NP. Okay. Iguna. Iguna. Tufuru Tukum. 
Eliminating buffs. Okay. Okay. That's what you guys were worried about, wasn't it? The fact that she can remove my buffs. That just makes things all the more interesting. Okay. Do the attack buff. And increase my crit star drop. Kill. And sure. Make that single arc card of mouth all the better. BAQ. You're complaining about her health resets? I guessed as much when I saw that. I brought the first servant I saw with Caldea Lunchtime. Because that's what was recommended to me. Bring Caldea Lunchtime. Okay. Calculate, 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 calculate. Calculation found. You don't need to apologize. I'll be fine. You don't need to apologize. I'll be fine. This is the third life down. So that's three. Let's go for number four. Go melt go. Dance like everybody's watching. Everybody is. That's four. Boom. And you guys said I couldn't do it. Melt for the win. Go, melt, go. And five stakes. Thank you for that, Abigail. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's my birthday. It's not my birthday though. Uh, uh, no, please come back. God is disappearing from within me. Uh, somebody, anybody, please take me away from here. Anybody? Abigail. Lavinia? Lavinia's breathing again. Cersei, did you do this? Yep, sure did. I gave her some medicine to alleviate her shock from the bloodlust right if she collapsed. But I'm afraid there's nothing else I can do to help her. I'm sorry. The anesthesia is the only thing keeping her going. All it's doing is helping with her pain. Uh, Abby, you're back to normal. I guess I failed again. But I think maybe that's a good thing. I was always jealous of your golden hair. The demon cup Bella brought me, me and my family into this world. We, we never existed in the real Salem. We're just characters from a work of fiction. Oh no, you're so cold. Please, Lavinia, don't go. S stay with me, please. Somehow, it was also real. D does this mean we were really friends? Friends born under the same comment. Of course, we'll always be friends, comment or no, no matter how much time goes by. I remember watching the sea with you from that hill. I wanted to see the whales one more time. Lavinia? It is. But 
I mean, yes. What I want to know is... Just characters from a work of fiction. While I am a big fan of Lovecraft... Like, his works, at least. Is she a figure in one of his books? I wonder. She or her family, perhaps. I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah, Abby suffered enough. I don't know, I just can't say. But I can't say that her militia story's gone now. Nelson was right about that. Besides... I think it would be the height of arrogance to interfere in other people's lives. To try to save one at someone at this point. To try and rob someone of their chance to repent and make amends. If anything, I'm the one who should be punished for acting so thoughtlessly. You're regretting asking, Lavinia. Yes, and I think I always will. But even so, Lavinia, I'm so grateful to you. I pray that your soul finds its way home. Back to your family is waiting for you. The sad music, too. <laughs> Sadness. Okay, but that was a tough fight. I will freely admit, that fight is tough. And yes, a second Merlin or a second Waver would have definitely made it go by just a little bit faster. But thankfully, Melt is OP against that class of servants. Alter Egos kick foreigner butt. And the fact that my melt is 10, 10, 10, level 100 makes it all the better. Means I don't have to worry about getting her overcharged, at least. <clears throat> anyway. Epilogue. Zero AP and no battles. Oh yes, please do. Please do. But yeah, that was an intense ending. That was an intense ending. And I do feel... I don't know, I must, I might just be reading it wrong, honestly. Digging a grave. Next day, the common Salem, final day. Bounded field partially disabled. Salem, final day. Uh, Robin, Mash, Neza, thank you for helping me bury Lavinia. Of course, we wanted mourner as well. You bet she helped us out a whole lot. I think she'll be really happy here. I think so too. Do we not need to light incense? No, we just pray for her. Here, put your hands together like this. The bounded field around Salem is shrinking, slowly but surely. The bounded field, including the whole area, should be disabled pretty soon. Then you'll be able to go back to Caldea. I'm so happy for you. Even though we beat the Pillar of Salem, it's still here. And that's true. I'm sure Raoum played a significant part in creating this fake Salem. But most of it actually depended on Abigail. No wonder Raoum chose her. Yeah, that's a good question. We actually didn't see them. They're all pretty weak, but I don't think they're in any danger. I expect they'll all be back to normal once they return from the other side. Yeah, that's good to hear. I actually thought they were dead. I legit thought they were dead. But I mean, using 50,000 people to fuel this kind of reality marble? Jeez. And that's what this all pretty much was, was a reality marble. If you really think about it, it was Abigail's reality marble, which was nurtured, and, well, maybe not originally her reality marble, but it kind of became it in time. But she couldn't sustain it on her own, you know? But I just don't be glad. Yes, well, after everything, I don't really see any of them getting a sound night's sleep in the near future. But then again, maybe they'll serve as inspiration for some authors and artists who live here. Yep, they owe you their lives. <laughs> well, I couldn't have done it alone. I really was too reckless when I first got here. Still, I wonder if His Majesty would be pleased with me. He would. He would. That would be Romani. And that's all the reward I need. My temporary contract with Cersei over? I've got a pretty good idea what you're thinking. In this particular case, she and I were summoned under pretty much the same conditions. Since we checked in together, we'll also be checking out together. Anything you want me to tell Medea? 
Nah, nothing too special. Just tell her you're sorry for me. You just can't say the words, can you, Cersei? You'll never earn big money that way. Or is this actually some kind of wisdom that comes with age? Shut up! Uh, so, hey, by the way, me and Chibi here are both servants, right? I hope you understand at least that much. But in Abigail's case, she wasn't summoned from the throne. She's a pseudo-servant created entirely within this fake Salem. The moment it disappears, she's going to vanish a little bit. Pretty different from a standard summon. You can say that again. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, technically, I could form a contract with her. You have got to be kidding. Abigail stepped on your corpse, Raum. For you, thank goodness. It seems I really have come to Salem this time. I'll bet this one on the brink of destruction. Huh? What the hell? Raum, the freaking demon god pillar? Does this mean we're never finished him off? Why are you back here, demon god pillar? Uncle? Wait, please. I bear you no ill will, I swear. My name is, uh, I'm afraid I don't have a name I can give you just now. Perhaps you'll be so kind to address me as Chun Trap. I mean, the Cosmic Traveling Gentleman. I'm guessing the man you know is be the being who made off with the my body. What? Hang on. I need context. One of my missions, I needed to fall into a very deep, lengthy sleep to catch a horror that threatened the world itself. Let us say that only the most relevant words pertaining were ocean and cephalopod. You had to catch Cthulhu. But unfortunately, while I was sleeping, my body was stolen from me. By Rome. That's right. Much as it pains me to admit, I'm afraid I possess a temperament which makes me, uh, easy to possess. Once more, Salem was home to my ancestors, so I have a deep connection to it. No doubt Rome wanted to ensure there was no one around who could easily infiltrate this land. I imagine that's why he set his sights on me. I'm terribly sorry for the trouble my ineptitude in this matter has caused you. Now I get it, but don't worry about it. It wasn't your fault. Um, excuse me, but I thought Rome's human body was destroyed after he died. Oh no, that wasn't a problem. As you can see, I'm still fit as a fiddle. For a demon, or perhaps I should say a befitting a demon. As befitting a demon, the pillar was quite conscientious. Even in my spirit form, I was able to maintain the connection with my body, and so I learned some of what the Demon God Pillar knew. And that is why I already know about you, Abigail Williams. In fact, your wife come across come all this way to Salem. Me? That's right, I'm sorry I took so long to get here. And I see that this is a grave of someone about whom you care about very deeply. Uh oh, that rumbling. Yep, Salem's not gonna be here soon. And that's it for the center of town. We should have a little more time there. Okay. Goodbye, Lavinia. Abigail, you are a living silver key. As such, you are able to open all manner of gates across time and space and travel between them freely. She's a keyblade! She's a living keyblade! That's cool. Me? I, I can't do anything like that. I can't even leave this place. Well, maybe I did open some gates once, for a moment, but really, that may as well have been the whole other person. Don't worry, you'll learn. There's a trick to it. You possess a crucial ability that humans need in order to remain safe when facing off against gods. Even if it is a parting gift from a dead demon god, it would be a shame to lose it. So I'd like to offer you a choice. Whatever your decision, I will support it. If you want, I can completely seal away your silver key power right now, erase some of your memories, and take you to whichever time period you'd like. Or you can leave Salem, come with me, and travel all across time and space. Hey, what about me? I mean, yes, I've traveled across time, but not space. That's amazing. Are you... You are like Matria, though you cannot look at. For that matter, your universe is not ours. You're right. Traveling across all of time and space might sound nice, but it's tantamount to jumping off a ship at full sail. Even so, I don't think it's a bad proposition. It certainly beats disappearing along with this land. I'm afraid we don't have a lot of time for you to mull over it, but I do believe it's worth considering. Well, Abby, what do you say? Oh my, that's the first time you've ever called me Abby, Uncle. Well, I'm sorry, I suppose that was far too familiar of me. This is, in truth, our first meeting, I suppose. <gasps> Cat! 
kitty. Cat. Oh, hello. There, there. Hmm, you don't say. That must have been very difficult. So you still have a great deal of living you wish to do, do you? He speaks cat. I like this man. He's talking with the cats. Okay, you've got a deal. I'll take you all with me. I'm sure we can find a place for you on the dark side of the moon, or perhaps somewhere further away. <laughs> the dark side of the moon. Oh, I can just imagine it now. BB on the dark side of the moon in CCC, monologuing about how great she is, and all of a sudden an army of cats just drops on her head. <laughs> and she's confused. Oh, that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. This is so strange. You're nothing like my last uncle, and yet you're still him. Abby, what do you want to do, Abby? Mash, Mr. Ringmaster. Even though it's falling apart, everything I care about is still here in Salem. I know that Lavinia is gone, and all the other villagers have returned to dust. This is still my home. Even if it is a cursed land where witches were hunted unjustly, I still love it. I'm sure you already know this, Mr. Ringmaster, but I committed a terrible sin a long, long time ago. Then I went and did the same thing again, here in this false Salem. I was trapped by my consciousness and my wicked impulses, and I just couldn't get away from them. Demon God may have tempted me, but I still accepted his offer. Hmm, okay, so she does re Okay, so she... She gave into temptation. She, she is weak-willed. Pretty much. But, even with all that, Mr. Ringmaster, I can still hear him. I can still hear what Sansa said to me at the gallows. It rings in my ears, plain as day. It, is it okay for me to die? Is it okay for me to abandon Salem and wish to become someone else? God would never forgive me if, for what I've done, and yet I. It's up to you. Mash? He's right, Abby. Nobody can pass judgment on another person's heart. But they can still extend a helping hand. I may be younger and more experienced than anyone else here, but I do know this much. Life has any number of opportunities to step off the stage. Just as many can perform a new one. <laughs> okay, I've made up my mind. I'll come along and travel with you, Uncle. My dream has always been to go on a trip somewhere, anywhere that isn't here. That is a good dream. Trips are good things. Thank you, Neza. I'm glad to hear that. Well, I should warn you, though, my journeys tend to be more than slightly unpredictable. That's okay with me. Maybe someday in some other distant world, I'll even get to see Lavinia again. Besides, you never know. God wills it. I might even become a new servant in Caldea at Soul's Observatory, right? If I disappear here and now, That'd be the end of it, but if someday, by some fantastic stroke of luck, I manage to become truly free in a far-off distant world, even if I'm not really me anymore, I'm sure whoever I am will still want to keep journeying. Right, Mash? Yes, that's right, Abby. As long as we're bound by fate and fortune, I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Heh, <laughs> that sounds wonderful. I can't wait. Oh, and Uncle, I hope you don't mind if I call you Uncle. If I really do have that kind of ability, do you think I could promise something to Mr. Ringmaster and his companions? You know how you said your mind and body each existed independently from one another? Well, I was wondering if I might be able to return Sansin's memories to the Sansin in Caldea. The ones from before his execution, I mean. That all depends on how much work you put in. It would be a difficult thing to do, though, even for me. But I can't say it's impossible, though it certainly couldn't be done anytime soon. <laughs> that gives even more reason to travel with you to learn as much as I can. That's good. She wants to make up for what she did. Well, then I suppose we should get going. Are you ready, Abby? Let's see. Good. You got your two friends, and I've got mine. Yes, Uncle. They're a bit heavy, but I can manage. Well, then, people of Caldea, I suppose this is farewell. I do hope this body of mine doesn't make any more trouble for you from now on. Oh, and just in case that false god... On second thought, never mind. In the first place, my work is not yet complete, so the strange tales I've heard of my own summoning tomes don't line up quite yet. Farewell. Please take care, everyone. It was wonderful to meet all of you. Mash, you're so lovely. Minari, you're so kind. Robin, you're so thoughtful. Nessa, I love everything about you. And Mr. Ringmaster, thank you for showing me a play I'll always remember. If you ever meet another me, I do hope you'll be kind to her. And I know I can be naughty sometimes, 
So if I am, I hope you'll scold me. Okay, 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 again. Delight works. Again. Really now. Really now, Delight works. Really now. Really now. This is gonna get me flagged or put on some kind of list. But fine, you. I'll do it. I, I don't envy poor Mash having to keep her eye on you. And of course, thank you for all your help, Cersei. Okay, thank God she didn't take it in that wrong context. But now Mash is... Actually, naughty Mash. Mash being naughty. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about the formalities. Besides, you weren't really a witch after all, so you don't need to look up to me or anything. Oh wow, you really can't say how you feel, can you? <laughs> Did I sound like her? Huh? And last but not least, Tuba. Oh, I'm sorry, it just kind of slipped out. That's okay, Miss Abby. I hope you have a wonderful journey. I will. Thank you. Goodbye. Yep, that's it, Shusaiku. That is what you begged me to do. And Red Velvet, I did it because she wanted me to. He he asked for it, and nobody objected other than me. And I am but a servant of the people. Whatever makes you happy. You thought there would be more to that decision. Oh, I'm sure you did, Shu. I'm sure you did. But maybe that's a catalyst, perhaps. Maybe somehow pressing that dialogue box ticks some secret unknown mechanic deep within the game's code that makes Abigail more likely to appear in your Caldea. Who knows? See when you cry from time to time, huh, Prince Neza? Do you have a problem with that? Nope, not even a little. In fact, I'm kind of jealous. Excuse me. Senpai, Caldea's about to bring us back. I don't think they're going to wait much longer. Well, there's the my wind. I guess it means it's time for me to set sail. You know, I actually kind of enjoy putting on plays with you guys. Thank you, oh beautiful and wise, Cersei. Oh, well, so you do know how to pay a compliment. The next time I see you, I'll make a special pig button just for you. Uh... Okay, then I have one last thing to say myself. I swore I wouldn't bring this up earlier, but now... There's always an oasis to be found, even beyond the desert. So chin up, don't look side up the saws, and keep putting it one foot forward in front of the other, like any good Chaldean should do. I'm sorry. That first line of dialogue. Don't lose sight of the stars. Wait, no. There's an always an oasis to be found, even beyond the desert. Chin up, don't lose sight of the stars, keep putting one foot forward in front of the other. That's very cryptic. Now, where would the fun be if I told you that? Some things are better left unsaid. Cersei, Shiba, it was great meeting you both. I hope that someday we can... Bye-bye. Well, looks like it's our turn to leave. Senpai, it's happening over here, too. d summon procedure activated. Final ray shift. No! Senpai? Senpai, give me your hand. You got it, Mash. I'm... Okay, everybody, if you don't want to see the most lewd display, cover your eyes. I'm about to hold hands with Mash. <laughs> so, everybody brace yourselves. Thank you, Senpai. There's nothing I'd like more. Yes, let's go to another trip, Mash. Master. Huh? Wait, something doesn't feel right. Oh, that pendant. Oh no. That could be bad. Or Catalyst.
One or the other, maybe both. Wow, 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 wow. First two fights of Chapter 8, they were easy. Yeah, they weren't too bad. They weren't too bad. Are you sure you don't want to go back? Go back. Oh yes, you can go back home. Back to the throne. Or even back to the very beginning. Clean slate if you're so inclined. I'll open the gate for you. Either way, Charles Henry Sanson. I... I don't need to go back anywhere. But we've done what I've set out to do. See. In that case, you already have the key to the gate you will need to open. Key? Anything like wait. Where'd my sword go? Do you by chance don't happen to Marie ah. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to step on your foot. Please forgive me. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm just glad your shoes didn't get dirty. I see, so that was you all along. Now come do come on, Charles. Can you hear that music? Are you a good dancer? <laughs> you certainly don't look like you are. It's true, I'm a terrible dancer. I never did have anyone who would dance with me. So if you don't mind, I would be grateful if you could teach me. Of course, I'd be happy to. Mm -hmm. He found... Sanson found... Peace, I guess, in a way. Or what was it? Penance, or... He found forgiveness in himself. He found forgiveness in himself. Yuck's thought fundamentally doesn't understand what forgiveness is. It's desire for others will be even when they sit against the people. The opposite of desire for them to suffer, punishing them isn't forgiveness at all. True. Very true. I'm not going to argue with you at that point. I will not argue. At the very least, though, Abby does seem to have grown up a little bit. You know. Possibly. Maybe. She's definitely undergone some character development. But still epilogue. Caldea now, though. Two epilogues. Interesting. Caldea Dining Hall. The morning after returning from Salem. Not bad at all. Can't believe... I believe I say this turned out well enough. Although... You don't have good vibes, you're gonna go? Alright, Red Velvet, thanks for being here. The stream's only gonna... The stream's probably gonna end after this, and I'll be sure to send you the next of the Yandaresh comics. Drip. Thing. I'll be sure to send you that. But first, I must finish the stream, which means finishing the epilogue. Hmm. Morning. Bonjour, Robin. See if you have to get a good night's sleep yet again. Mind your own damn business, Frenchie. And what's that on your plate? Fried egg on toast. Not really a fancy noble's breakfast, huh? Not a noble. This is a croquet, madame. I'm told it was quite trendy now, so I thought I would try it out. I also tried adding a bit of rhubarb jam and cream cheese. It may not look as good as galette, but it should still be a nice pick meal for a busy morning. The only problem is it's a little too big to eat comfortably. Uh, so just pick it up and go at it like it's a burger. Hmm? What's that pile of paper you got there? You reading something? I asked Bash for this. It's a book of the plays you all performed in Salem. It's quite interesting. I uh, see. There you are, Robin. I see you're here too, Sanson. I hope I'm not interrupting breakfast. Oh, bonjour, Madame Media. Why don't pull up a chair and join us? I prepared beverages just in case someone else showed up. I thought we actually had a background for the cafeteria, so why are we just doing the hallway background? Thank you. I would love some coffee, then. I'm not a combination. I feel like I'll get heartburn sitting between a nice guy and a show-off. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't the one who asked you to sit with us, you know. By the way, Sanson, is it true you were resummoned at the same time Master and everyone else returned from Salem? And that you don't have any memories of what happened after you reshifted there? So it seemed. I have no idea what happened in Salem. But strangely enough, I have my memories of everything that happened prior. But I'm afraid it resulted in an act of command intervention conducting a rather invasive examination to clear me of any suspicion. Then again, I hear there was a, a recent big to-do with another imposter, so I suppose I can understand. But I see, I, both, I suppose we both had our fair share of bad luck in that area, though in different senses. Hey, all's well then, as well, yeah? 
Easy for you to say. Even I wasn't sure what to make of it all when I was summoned. It's a strange sensation. Master and Master are giving their reports now. Once they're dead, it's, it'll be my turn. Some announcements about how if we all report at once, it will likely fail. We'll all pray to confirmation bias or something. Ugh, what a plane. Oh, yes, I do indeed plan to rule for the Eresh. Eresh will be coming to my Chaldea. I have... I mean, I might as well announce it now, because I'm going to announce it again at the end of the stream. But, um... And I will be doing some sort of banner or something on the little bit below the video. But there will be a giveaway. To be specific, there will be three giveaways here. Because over the next m two months, there are four servants I am going to be going for. One is going to be Abigail. The next, Arash. Then Hokusai. Then Jolter. Jolter is a bit too far off to be considered for this, but given that Hokusai is New Year's, I am going to be doing, obviously, summoning streams for each of those three. 420 St. Quartz, 10 summoning tickets. Either at the end of the stream, if I do not get it, or when I get that servant, I will be doing a giveaway for $45 in Google Play or Apple Cash, so that you too can partake in the GSSR this coming January. So, be ready for that. Be ready for that. And yes, I know, 216 stakes, that's going to be fun. Especially since I'm probably not going to start farming until at least Monday. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Thankfully though, it's like a 60% drop rate, so yeah. So, Rum, whatever happened to Cersei? Ah, so that's not that you've been following me around since last night, is it? Well, Maddie, let me ask you, how do you feel about that little pip squeak? I gotta say, she really pulled one over on us. I think that was her way of getting revenge. Can't really blame her. I definitely wasn't exactly respectful towards her when I was younger. And now you are? Sometimes I look back on what she taught me, and I can't but think I was stubborn and mature. I confess it pains me to admit that, though, so I thought if I was able to ever see her again... I'd have liked to thank her properly. While most of what she taught me turned out to be useless, I still appreciated her kindness at times. Okay. Fair. Very fair. The desire to punish is not forgiveness. I can wholeheartedly agree with that. I mean, yes, punishment can lead to some self-revelation, which can lead to you forgiving yourself as evidenced by Sanson, who found some form of forgiveness after he allowed himself to be executed. But I mean, he would have probably found that in time on his own. Punishment is very interesting. It's a very interesting debate that could be run, but you know, it could also be very weird debate as well. I think I know what you mean. I hit it when my old master's nagging pops into my head at the worst possible times, too. Right? So come on, Robin, work with me. I need details about what happened in Salem. Aren't you seri curious, too, Sanson? You seem awfully unconcerned about all this. I told I told Master will tell me all about himself, all about that himself later, so I plan to wait for that. Oh, seriously? What is it, Robin? What is that? Have you so shaken up? Come to think of it, you are anti type. Don't tell me you and she. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm not shook up at all. Hey, how about some Monsieur de Perry? What'd you say? You know that sandwich you're making? It'd be a lot easier to eat if you cut it in half diagonally. Monsieur de, Monsieur de Perry? Is that a recipe you came up with, Sanson? Ah, uh, now I see. You're suggesting we cut these guillotine style. This may sound strange coming from me, but that doesn't seem like a great way to start one's morning. Compared to porridge three times a day, that actually sounds rather nice. Well, if that's what we're going to do this, we best do it right. The only punishment as good as, as deterrence to scare people away from running each other. That is a fair point. Oh, as a preventative measure. To me, I should give it a much bloodier look than a rebar. We'll need meat for a bit of realism. Okay, sorry, it was just a joke. <laughs> so is that. Let's mash your master get back. I think I'll ask them what they think of this recipe, too. Wholesome sense in his wholesome... Was... Is that it?
conclusion of the judgment. Okay. That was a lot shorter of an epilogue than I think it would be. I mean, yes. No, I can't. I cannot start the farming of the states just yet. Not yet. Because I want to do all the free quests in a stream as well. I want to do all the free quests in the same stream that I'm going to be rolling for Abigail. You know? I kind of want to wait for that. Just so that I have maximum Abigail potentiality summoning chances. That and I honestly don't know which one it is off the top of my head. So yeah, I'll have to find out which one it is. It should be Monday though. It should be Monday is when Abigail comes out. So not too long, thankfully. Thankfully not too long. Girls at heart only act kindly normal to other people out of fear of the law. Oh, I'm well aware, Shu. I am well, well aware. I plan on grinding it hard once I do get access to it. Fair way, I'll raise malice. Again, fair. Cell, I agree with you. I do agree. Um, has there been... I don't suppose there's been any announcement officially on it. Hang on, I'm gonna check the Grand Order subreddit here real quick. Reddit.com slash r slash Grand Order. If it wants to load, but it's taking its sweet old time. I just want to see if maybe the Fate Grand Order website has updated with Abigail's summoning dates. Perhaps. Um. <laughs> Nope, it has not updated. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We'll be weird if they give us more time than they did on JP. That is true. Okay. You know what? Just because, just because I do want to start farming stakes. They are called... What exactly? I need to know that. What is the name of the item? They are called... They're bronze. Stake of Wailing Knight. So... Stake of Wailing Knight. The game press page. I will do the single Salem mission that um, gives the best drop for this. Execution site at the Gallow Hills in Salem. I will do that mission. After that mission is done though, is when we will be ending the stream. So, it looks like it's a Zerker Assassin node. Gallows, gallows, gallows. I'm blind, where are the gallows? There they are. I was on the gallows. <sighs> All right. Um, bond farming isn't really necessary at this point, <sighs> but we'll still go with that. And then assassin zerker. Arash takes out first wave. Also, do they? They still have not put that foreigner bit in there just yet. I was kind of hoping they would, but they haven't. And then swap out you for, where are you, Caster Nero. As an AoE servant, she should be able to handle that final wave somewhat well. And Janta should be good for that second wave. Arash is definitely going to be able to take down that first wave. This has a 69.1% chance of drop, so I don't think I'll have too much issues with my DMs on Discord. I can do that. I can do that. Let me... Let me black the screen out here real quick. There's my mouse. So let me black this really quickly. Blackout display capture, just so I can check stuff real quick. Uh, oh, stake comms. 
That is so small. Hang on, I'm opening the link. It's still small! Good lord. I don't know why, but that is like so very small for me, Shusaiku. That is like ridiculously small. I can't really tell what it says. Sorry. It's like, it's very much too small for me to see. And I don't know why. I can't. It won't let me zoom in. It literally will not let me zoom in. I opened the link. I clicked on it. And it's just an image. There's like no zoom. In. It's weird. Is weird. Is weirdy weird weird. Yes. Okay. Let's see how Janta does. I should have done this. Let me do that. Doot, doot, doot. We'll still find out if this is good. I mean, if Janta can't take this wave down, I do have Nito, who is leveled up. My Nito is leveled up. So I do have that option available to me. 32 right now. Nice. Alright, now's the moment of truth. So, we don't want that. We want seven crowns. And we want the undying guts. And then I do do do. I still got a ways to go. How did Nero do? She didn't hit that Elder Ghoul as hard as I was hoping she would. I mean, she hit it well enough. And I'm pretty sure I can get another NP. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I've got another NP already. So I definitely have... I might have to change my setup, I guess. Using Nito Waves 1 and 2, and Helena, and then Ilya with Wave 3. I unfortunately do not have Helena. But I do have both Ilya and Sansa. So I could give them a try, I suppose. I could give them a try. Especially since Sun Zong is N2. How many stakes? One stake. Uh, you don't need to. You don't need to right now. I'm gonna ex I'm gonna do this free quest on stream and then I'll be calling the stream here. I'm I'm gonna experiment a little bit actually. Here. I am going to experiment a little bit. So cast Nero. Let's think here. Arash Nito Sanzong should be fine. That is, yeah, let's actually try that. So Sanzong. And then what we're going to do is throw Golden Sumo on her. And then Nito here. Where is Nito? There is she. Let's give this a try. Not enough damage for the last wave side enemies. Let me see. I mean, I got an idea for that. Nito does have Egyptian Magecraft Divine Words thing, so she can gain a lot of NP really fast. So, if I do things cleverly, like so. Okay, she's at 90 right now. So unfortunately, that wasn't cleverly enough. Sadness. 
should get her to 8, 8, X at least. I mean, I probably should, and I will eventually, I do so promise, but as it currently stands, I am saving the QP for Arash. Uh, do it like this. So Sanzong definitely has her MP to start things off. Good damage. Nito's at 12. And then. Rapid Words of Divine. Which are at 78. We'll go ahead and do that. We don't need that. We don't. I think we don't need that. And then we can do that. Alright, and Nito's NT increases the death chance at overcharge, so let's try it like <laughs> It's a weird three turn. Black Grail on Sanzong? I could actually do that. I could actually do that. Okay, charge death procted. So the Elder Ghoul did live, but only barely. Okay. I will try the Black Grill on Samzong, because I do have one or two, I believe. There we go. How many sticks did we get? Please tell me you got a ton of steaks. A metric ton, just give me all the steaks. I got zero steaks. Yes! Wait, no, that's that's not what I wanted. Game, you're supposed to be like a 69% chance. And I've gotten one. There are, I thought there were bronze drop. That's gonna be great. Like Frosted Flakes. Okay, uh, Black Grail, Black Grail. Yes, I do indeed have a Black Grail. Gems are all- no! No, don't tell me they dropped gems too. Please, do not tell me they dropped gems too. Please, Shusaiku, tell me that's a joke. Please. No. No. I can't do Darth Vader. Oh, I know about the embers. I know about the embers. <laughs> so let's try it like this. Fortunately, that did not give much of any charge. Why do you have such poor NP charge, Nito? Why, oh, why? Okay. Boop. Boop. And then Sanzong Nito Nito. How are these- do we know what these things death resist is like, actually? Because if their death resist isn't too high, I could try some death strats with Nito, I suppose. I can't even see- I can't see how it Alright. Boop. Boop. <laughs> But, 
the first skill isn't at level 1. All of my servant's skills are at least level 2. Yeah, they're level 2. I pulled it off though, I pre turned it. And I got two silver chest drops, oh boy, oh boy. What could it be? Drum roll, please. That's my rebound five. And, and, two stakes! Hoorah! All right, that's two more stakes for the collection. So, I think that's 18 stakes down, 198 to go. I think. Am I right? Oh, that even unlocked something more. Yep, 18 stakes down, 198 to go. Yay! And that is what I'm going to probably be doing on Fate Grand Order until Abigail's Summon banner shows up, is the excavation site farming for stakes. However, I'm not gonna make you all suffer through all that. With Salem now officially complete, this is going to be where I call the stream. So, Salem, awesome story, it had a cool conclusion, I'm very, very happy I played it. And, as I said earlier, when the Abigail Summon banner comes out, we will be streaming on that day, and be doing a giveaway during it. I'll try and get a little banner together for below, and give some more details there. For now, though, I've been Soul Rack Dragon. I do so hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave me some feedback in whichever way you like. I will be streaming tomorrow, continuing our Pokemon Sword playthrough as well. But that's tomorrow. For now, have a fantastic evening, everybody.